Gonna lean on? Go ahead. Huh? Start. Okay, this is about uh, Mount Ben Lomond, the, uh, the big mountain right behind our house in North Albany. And uh, we were going to show both horses, Trinket and, and that uh, star, in the horse show the next day. Big horse show in Ogden. Uh, but we, uh, I thought, well, beautiful day, and Dad would like to see the, the top of the mountain and then look down over, over Ogden. So we saddled the horses and went up the canyon first and then turned left on a zigzag trail up to the mountain. And after probably about 45 minutes we uh, we probably reached high enough and the horses couldn't go any further, it got pretty steep so we tied them up and, and went up by, by walking. Then we sat down and had our lunch and looked down and, and there was our house right down below. Hey, beautiful view. And Dad said, hmm, you know, why not? Why go for two hours back back home on the same trail? Why can't we just go down here and we'll be there in a half hour? So, it was, I don't know, we can try that. So we went after lunch and looking around, we, we uh, got back to the horses and and started downhill. Well, we uh, we weren't only gone about about uh, 15 or 20 minutes, and we saw this was an impossible thing. And uh, the problem was we couldn't go back up; it was too steep. So we started sliding down down the hill more and more, and finally came to kind of a, a ledge, and. Uh, I told Dad, "Boy, oh, we're really in trouble. We may have to call a helicopter to get us out of here." And uh, so I left Dad with the horses, and I walked around a little bit, see if we can find another place down. It just got steeper and steeper. So I got a little prayer and asked the Lord, "Lord, you got, we need some help. <laughs> we can't go up, and looks like we can't go down. So show us what to do." So we went back uh, and took the horses just a little ways, and there was a, uh, a rock slide with very small rocks. And I thought, well, and below that seemed like seemed like a way to get out. So I thought, okay, let's try this. So we got on the rock slide and just kind of slid with both horses down to a uh, uh, down to a, a rocky area, which had a kind of a trail big enough for the the horses to put their feet on down down a little ways to where we had to cross the creek. Okay, so we got that done already and all right. Horses didn't slip for you know much good. It was a pretty steep down there too. And then we came to the creek which was frozen over, middle of the summer, but it was frozen over still from from the winter. And and so we I kind of stomped down on the ice and, and thought, well, I think we can make that. And uh, so I said, well, I'll try it first and I'll take the small horse with me and uh, see what happens. So I got the small horse over the top and, and then went back to, to get uh, Trinket. So Dad was uh, already across, walked across. and. So I went to the hot drink and then about, I got on the on the other side and just as we got to the other side, her hind legs went through the through the ice. So we finally, both of us pulled hard enough, we could get her out of there and started our way down. Well, down was really down. And sometimes we had to jump the horses about six, seven feet down. And then we had to slide them on their hind feet, on their hind legs to other places. And so it was for, uh, it took us, instead of the two, and a half, two hours back, it probably took us three hours, or three or four hours to come down those, that hill and to save the horses. And when we came home, we noticed that the back of the horses were all bloody and, and not good for the horse show in the morning. <laughs> so 
but we treated them as good as we could and it took about uh, three or four weeks before they were uh, optically, you know, visibly good to ride again. So that was our, that was a trip. And later on, I met one of the old guys from North Alden and told him what we did. And he just looked at me and said, that just can't be done. <laughs> so I never told anybody else after that.